studio. Um, today we're gonna get organized, we're gonna tidy, and um, we're gonna put some handles on some mugs, I think. Let's chat for a hot second. Eh? Hello, it's a fresh, fresh day in the studio post weekend, so feeling really motivated to get stuff done this week. Um, today we're going to be getting a little bit more organized. I'm going to tidy up my desk as per usual after the weekend. Um, I'm going to put some handles on some mugs, trim some stuff, recycle some clay maybe even. I don't know. Um, this week is also an exciting one because it is a painting week. So I'll be painting all the tigers and fun stuff starting today. Everything's gonna get some color and kind of come to life, so I'm really excited about that. I have about 50 dedicated pieces for this collection, and then I'll have um, extras that I had after the holidays, so all the stuff that's on that shelf back there will be available in my update as well. Um, I'm just so excited to get stuff fired and get, get back into it again, have the first shop update of 2022. Okay, first things first, we're gonna clean today, we're gonna get organized. Um, I have all of this stuff that I want to get organized. I bought some crates recently and I'm hoping they'll kind of like just look a little bit better, clear up some space, set some boundaries for how much underplace I have. <laughs> Um, I've had these types of crates before, but I always had to order them online, so I went a little bit buck wild when I found them in a local shop. Um, they're just like the classic crate, crate looking crates. Um, I got four big ones and two small ones, so I'm thinking whatever I don't use at the studio I can just bring home to the apartment and like I'll find a use for it for sure. Um, yeah, I got like mostly blues and greens and whites because I think that's like kind of the theme that I'm moving towards for the general studio decor. Um, I'll still have lots of different colors, but I think it'll be mostly blues and greens and whites. I probably mentioned it on here before, but when I first started making pottery, everything I made was like blue and green and white, and it just fit so well with the name from Tree to Sea um, at the time. So my idea was that I would put all my underglazes in here. I'll put the tall, no, hold on. So it's like a little bit tall. So I'm gonna put the short ones at the bottom, I think, and then the tall ones in the top compartment with like the brushes and stuff. I think that'll work out. I went back in that bag and remembered that I bought some new matches um, so I can light my my intention focus candle. I think 100% of the proceeds go towards dog rescue.
prepared for the small little bin. I would put all the tools that I regularly use specifically for um, attaching handles to mugs. Um, so that includes my brushes that I actually got when I was in China in like 2015. I want to say I've had these forever. Um, this one is for brown clay. This one is for white clay. These little like squishy tipped, flexible tipped, um, I guess you'd call them like sculpting tools, molding tools maybe. Um, I'm pretty sure I just got a pack of these off of Amazon like a couple years ago. This, the best tool ever for handle making because I use this usually. Um, I have one of these for scoring, but I actually typically use this for scoring. And then this is nice to kind of like, um, you know, shape the handles around where they've been attached. Classic pin tool. And then I have like my silver rib with the little teeth on it and just a regular rib. This is actually more like with my throwing stuff probably, but I'm just putting it in here for now to keep my desk clear. I am feeling super distracted today, um, so I'm just gonna take a break and go on a walk. Uh, in the meantime, I'll let my handles dry and I'll let the pieces that I have to trim dry. I've started drawing out one of my tiger pieces. This is like the first one I've drawn. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about it. I hope everything turns out cool. I think I like didn't plan out my days the best because typically um, for the mugs, I draw the tigers on after they've been bisked. And I guess for some reason in my head, I was like, oh, I can just paint them all beforehand, bisk them, and then like I only gave myself a day to glaze everything which if, if everything is gonna be just like white or clear on the inside, that's totally fine. But yeah, I haven't really drawn them onto greenware. And I know that it usually, it's quite a bit of handling when painting these on, so we'll see how that goes. I'm feeling a little bit nervous because I don't want to break anything. I don't know if you get the same way, but um, the fear of messing up definitely like slows me down so much and I'll procrastinate so hard and find a million other things I could do instead of doing the thing that's on my list for the day. Um, so I'm running into a bit of that right now. I was really hoping to take some pictures today, but the sun is not cooperating. Um, but I'll show you what I have um, so far, painted. I am wearing the exact same outfit I was wearing like two days ago. Don't judge me. I just come to the studio and I paint all day. And so it's kind of easier to just wear the same overalls again, knowing that they're gonna get a little bit messy potentially. Part of me kind of worries that like these vlogs are getting boring because I'm not really doing that much outside of the studio right now. Um, it's just been like work, 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 which I'm totally fine with, but I don't know if that makes for very engaging content. Um, I think things will be like a lot more fun and exciting in the spring and summer and also in like a month when I'm going to be busy, busy, busy. Anyway. I have this tiger painted. It is the year of the water tiger, so I thought I would incorporate a little bit of blue, a little bit of like 
water flowing stuff in here. This one I have to finish painting today, but I'm very excited about it. Oh my gosh, like I'm dead. I think this is so cool. <laughs> I gotta do all the drops here, the least stars here. I'm gonna do white tigers on the bottom. You know what? I might actually do blue tigers now that I'm looking at it and now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, what else do I have? I have a couple more pieces that are done. And I have a lot of outlines done, so those feel like they're half done. I still have so much work to do considering I only have two days left. Um, this is another one. Really fun to carve these, but I almost always never like keep them moist enough to carve into them nicely, so it's like a satisfying uh, process. That was a plant pot. There's a vase. I'm having a lot of fun with the carving, so I'd love to keep doing that in the future. For doing the water drops, it's been a lot faster instead of like hand painting with a brush to just kind of do the outline and fill them in. And it actually reminds me a lot of um, cake decorating videos, which I love to watch. The like royal icing, I think it is, when you like outline a cookie, fill it all in. It's very much that vibe. Feel like working today. It's a very gloomy day. Um, yeah, I'm just like, I just want to chill lately. <laughs> this is like kind of a random question, but if you are subscribed, are you subscribed specifically more for pottery content or is it because you like how it's kind of like a vlog with pottery content? Are you a potter? Are you looking for advice? Are you kind of just hanging, hanging around and just want to hang out with a friend while you're working also? Um, let me know. I'm always like kind of curious what people watch this stuff or I used to watch YouTube videos a lot more, um, like vlogs and stuff, but lately I, I always have to like switch back to between a comedy, a drama, real life like a youtube vlog situation and um yeah do you go in waves like that too i used to listen to a lot of podcasts i don't really do that as much in the studio anymore i've been doing a lot of like watching stuff which maybe i should switch it back over right now i'm watching big little lies again i'm in a rewatch stage which means that um i read something about this my brain isn't really ready for like new new information i want something comforting and want something familiar to work this side. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna use the blue and go over this. Um, and I'm gonna do like, kind of like my blue and white stuff, but uh, just obviously a much smaller scale. I have um, little oranges in, in red mesh bags, earrings. I'll put their shop name, their shop link down below shop name here, Instagram here. But I might do that on a mug, cause that always reminds me of Chinese New Year too. Um, just having lots of oranges around, getting little mandarins in the bags from the supermarket with my mom. Just good times, you know?
hello today is the day that i'm loading the kiln uh, i have a ton of stuff that i still need to paint very last minute as per usual um these are all the pieces that i do have done this shelf right here i have two four six seven eight eight pieces i still have to paint um and then there's like a handful that I just need to do some detailing on, like these ones. I don't know if you can see, but I gotta still do like the blue markings and I have to do the tiger stripes on this one as well. Um, I have a few more like that. Yeah, really excited for these. Really excited that finally firing day is here. It feels like it's been so long since I like actually planned out this month. So yeah, really looking forward to it. Changing it up with a hat today instead of a toque because Still didn't want to do my bangs, but wanted something different. It's super nice out. I feel really lucky that I get to load up the kiln on like a plus degrees weather day. But yeah, just soaking it all up while I can. I took a nice long walk this morning with Rima. Just, yeah, I hope I'm done early so I can go outside after this. That's the goal. I got a new mask yesterday because I've been using the same one for like way too long like two years very important a good respirator if you're going to be mixing glazes or doing anything with hazardous chemicals in your studio you probably already know that I just need to sieve one of the big batches that I just made. I don't typically sieve anything. I don't think I've shown even using one in a video before, so yeah. <laughs> now. I brought home a bunch of stuff to paint last night that I didn't get to. Hopefully everything's done um, cooling down. That would be really nice. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so cool. How hot is this? I did not even look. It's at 117, okay, so it's good to pick up. Oh yeah. Yes, 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 yes. These are Brenda and Spencer's pieces from their class. Their little workshop lesson with me. No explosions, which is great.
up the kiln and see how all the tigers came out. I'm wearing my lucky. I'm just deciding that they're lucky. They have not proved their luckiness yet, but I'm wearing my lucky um, orange bag earrings today. Hi again. I hope y'all don't mind the very impromptu all over the place style of vlogging that I've been doing lately, but uh, sometimes I forget to pick up the camera. For example, I was going to film all the kiln unloading of this very exciting batch, but then my best friend from Vancouver called me just as I got to the kiln shed, and so obviously that was more important. Yeah, okay, so I went to the local plant shop down the street and got some stuff for styling photos. Um, I was really hoping to get something red in terms of flowers, but they only had purple, which is totally fine, we'll make do. I'm gonna see if I can maybe like edit in post, make these red. I don't know if I have the skills to do that, but we'll see. Um, and then I got some nice fluffy greenery. I wanted it to look very like organic and kind of like have some movement. The lighting is being very strange in the studio today. It's very, very blue. Um, so I might not be shooting photos today, um, but I do have other stuff I need to do. I'm going to be applying some gold to some pieces, which I haven't done in like, I want to say like three years. This is a really old bottle of gold, so hopefully it's still fine. It's just the Duncan bright gold. Um, and then I also recently picked up some of the Duncan essence, which I didn't even know about, but you can use it to clean your brushes after you use any sort of luster. I only found out about it because my friend put in an order with me and got it um, to use after applying Mother of Pearl. So I've got these, I've got some disposable gloves, I have my respirator, so I think I'm set. I'm gonna outline all the green and gold on these ones. You can only apply luster over something that has been glazed already, so I just glazed some little flowers and clear and I'll go over those with gold. I was debating adding gold to this piece but I think I really love it as it is like very simple should I add gold to it I don't know and now I'm just looking around the studio being like okay is there anything else I can add gold to gold luster update. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth my time. I don't know how I would do this again. I know it looks really special and cool after, but that was quite a headache to get it on. And also now I brought everything back in. I have the fan on, everything's in my bathroom. I can still smell it in here. It smells awful. And uh, I gotta wait now for it to dry overnight until tomorrow morning. So hopefully, they're dry enough to move around when I pick them up tomorrow morning before I head to Rima's kiln. I'm gonna vlog tomorrow, I think, too, so maybe you'll get to see her her at-home kiln in the garage. Yeah, we'll see how they turn out. I had so many problems with dripping and like a little bit of smudging, so yeah, in my mind, 
I don't think I'll be doing this again, so they're gonna be extra special in this collection. It feels really early because it's still dark out. I'm gonna go get Rima and then we're gonna go unload the kiln and collect all the gold stuff. I'm excited, but I'm also really tired and I'm really cold. Okay, see you soon. Ooh, kind of scary. So cute. Kind of spooky. Got our hand on the fridge. <laughs> you guys. 